Here is the 1964 RCA Victor model FF557B. It's all back together, it's been aligned, converged, and it's all set and ready to go. All cleaned up, and here's the nice clean reinstalled 21FBP22. So our color and tint controls. Got it all set ready and ready to go here. Here's all of our uh, neck components, the blue lateral magnet, the purity rings, convergence clover, and the deflection yoke. In fact, uh, it's kind of hard to see. Don't have the best light down here. So I got my flashlight. Previous tech was kind of a slob. He uh, tried to clean the tuner and uh, he shot the speaker cone all full of tuner spray. So it doesn't affect the sound. But I was able to clean most of it off very carefully. A numbers matching TV too, by the way. Got the back cover for it off to the side. But everything's all clean. All RCA tubes too. The ones that were replaced. And here's our rebuilt filter cap, the one on the left. And uh, we got the Insignia converter box. So that'll, uh, that'll be giving us the picture here. Here we go. This thing has the most wonderful sharp color picture I've seen on an RCA. Look how well defined the scan lines are. You don't need HDTV when you got one of these working right. the light off here.
you sort of took that, the idea that uh, We'll soon see Russian model and actress Natalia Vodinova. For some reason, I don't get uh, CBS. He openly admits he can't stand the Hawaiian heat, but it doesn't stop him. Cycling specialist Chris Lieto is right behind. He's been in this position before, but like Sinbal, has trouble on the run. So he must worry about who is behind him. That would be Norman Stadler. One thing I don't like about this digital television, you gotta wait for the signal to pop in for about a second. December of Come on. Add about two tablespoons of butter, some fresh Parmesan cheese, and a splash of cream. Now watch this. Simply pop on the top, give it a quick spin, and in one simple step, we ground the Parmesan cheese Chop the garlic and mix all the ingredients together. And now, pour it in a cup. And here's some bullet fast magic that no other machine will do. I'm just going to twist on one of these vented lids and I'm going to put it right into the microwave to cook. For about you even got the original 6JU8. Absolutely. Which is this so guy right here. I just prepared my meal in. I'm also Those are always bad, but for some reason this one passed the test. Now, while Mimi's slaving over a hot microwave, <laughs> I'm going to knock us up a quick test of sauce. Are you ready? Big chunk of Parmesan cheese. In goes the garlic. In goes the basil. Look how easy this is. Handful of pine nuts. Just throw them in there. Finish up with a little bit of olive oil. Watch how easy this is. Spin on the top, set the bullet on the base, and now we're chopping the basil, crushing the pine nuts, mincing the garlic, and mixing all the ingredients together. And as fast as you can say, Bob's your uncle, Patty's your aunt, you've got a beautiful homemade pasta sauce. Now all you need to do is pour it over to our the tent check. pasta. Look at that. Got nice tent range. And you've got a beautiful homemade pesto pasta made from scratch in less than 10 seconds and pasta alfredo i'm just gonna whip on the cross blade and pop this on the power base to give it another quick whip so there you have it it's all set and ready to go this tv should last for years and years got our new parts in and uh, it's all cleaned up and uh, ready to go. All we got to do now is uh, put the back cover on, which is sitting right here. I'm just going to glue that label on there a little bit. It's kind of neat when you get the original tags like that. So that's it. The next video will probably be a 1969 RCA CTC 38 that I need to tackle. So uh, stay tuned for that.